There are three basic arguments for a national service law. First, it would assure that we have the right numbers of workers in the right places at the right time. Secondly, it would provide supreme proof to all our fighting men that we are giving them what they are entitled to, which is nothing less than our total effort. And third, it would be the final unequivocal answer to the hopes of the Nazis and the Japanese that we may become half-hearted about this war and that they can get from us a negotiated peace. It is true that the statement of principles in the Atlantic Charter does not provide rules of easy application to each and every one of this war-torn world's tangled situations. But it's a good and a useful thing, it's an essential thing that to, ha to have principles, principles toward which we can aim. And we shall not hesitate to use our influence and to use it now to secure so far as is humanly possible the fulfillment of the principles of the Atlantic Charter. Under the threat of a common danger, the United Nations joined together in war to preserve their independence and their freedom. They must now join together to make secure the independence and freedom of all peace-loving states so that never again shall tyranny be able to divide and conquer. These humble surroundings, which his unscrupulous career later enabled him to exchange for a fine, luxurious mansion at Châteldon. By every dishonorable method, by black treachery and gangster politics, he piled up a fortune and, condemned to death by the French, he's got nothing to rely on but Hitler's protection. And the French have put his goods and chattels up to auction. He had some quite nice things, but I've no doubt they're going cheap. Quite a different kind of clearing up has been going on in Paris. During the German occupation, a number of tube stations were closed to the public and a large section of the line was converted into an underground aircraft factory. Six miles of rail were covered with concrete for flooring and as you see, machinery was also installed on the platform. Some of the plant, by the way, originally came from America. Now it's all been demolished. The machinery taken down over the railway lines broken up. It was quite a bright, if unoriginal, out of the streets of Paris. But like all Germany's bright ideas, the Allies have the last word on the subject. 